Hello everybody, this is Kimchi Crypto. Um, today I'm going to talk about a single specific altcoin that institutions will form into. Let's dig in. Franklin Templeton is one of the largest financial advisors, asset managers in the world. They explore crypto fund for tokens other than Bitcoin and Ether. The firm is also considering offering staking rewards as part of the new fund, the report said. But it's not possible in the United States. SEC didn't allow to include staking service in the um, Ethereum spot ETF. So how come this is going to be possible? Besides is spot Bitcoin ETF, which has more than $350 million under management. Franklin Templeton has also applied to list a spot Ether ETF. With this new crypto fund, if launched, Franklin Templeton is considering offering staking rewards as part of the fund, the report said. When spot Ethereum ETFs gained initial approval last month, staking rewards were not included. So, um, Franklin Templeton has. $350 million under management in Bitcoin spot ETF, whereas uh, BlackRock has AUM of $20 billion, which is a lot more larger than that of Franklin Templeton. This means Franklin Templeton is falling behind BlackRock and Fidelity in the crypto battleground. While Franklin Templeton's spot Bitcoin ETF success pales in comparison to the products offered by BlackRock and Fidelity, so this firm is keen to expand its digital assets business outside the US. This company is an asset manager founded in 1947, and it has more than $1 trillion in assets under management and they will launch new crypto funds with staking service outside the United States because of some regulation uncertainty in the United States. 77-year-old financial giant goes all in in crypto now. This is an article in January this year when Solana ETF hopes raise after Franklin Templeton louts blockchain. They praised Solana blockchain for its speed, low cost, the philosophy of the CEO of Solana, huge partnerships, and everything. Bitcoin ETF issuer Franklin Templeton is very bullish on Solana and foresees it as the third largest crypto. They made a huge partnerships with PayPal, with Visa Card, with Opera, it's a web browser, and with Shopify and dozens more. So in terms of partnerships, in terms of crypto market cap, or staking rewards ratio of 7% per year and possibility of spot Solana ETF next year, because of some high speed, low cost, number of community, number of development activities, and Solana survived the worst bear market in 2022. And Love Call comes from Wall Street giants, like you know, for now Franklin Templeton, but many will join this race. So I believe Solana should be included in your portfolio. Not only this cycle, but next cycle as well. Solana should be in our retirement portfolio. 7% yields plus a huge price potential to the upside. Big institutions, global institutions love yields. That's why they buy US treasuries to make yields. Solana provides them 6.8% annualized yields. So Solana price will soar a lot more. In the next five years, in the next 10 years, it will go 10x, 
2030x with this 7% yield. So it's my basic plan to take profits, most of those altcoins next year, and buy as many Bitcoins, Ethereums, and Solanas as possible. Not next year, but in 2026. We don't know when to bottom, when to top, but that's my plan. Just buy, accumulate as many Bitcoins, Ethereums, and Solanas as possible. And Solana, and especially Ethereum, Solana will provide you, you know, 3%, 7% yields, you know, for, for your retirement life. What's your plan? Thank you for listening.